Let's continue. Actually, before I get into it, uh, quick recap. So we are playing young guy named Quincy, who happened upon a mansion and for some reason seemed caught in a time loop, which is a little weird. The commonality between the time loop was that certain people kept dying and then resetting the timeline so that they wouldn't die, but eventually they would. And there was a woman named Linry who seems to be, like, experimenting, and they were, it was very strange. We learned that it was all a simulation, Quincy included, and that Linry had made this simulation as she's trying to test something in the program that is the neurological interface that typically we use in these games when we're playing diff different characters, the scientists. So, she is one of the creators of this machine, so in a way this is a prequel to To the Moon, because when we start To the Moon, We've already got the machine where two scientists who, you know, who work for the company, who have this machine and who help clients. So we're learning about the beginnings of it, I think. Quincy has since learned that he is a simulation of a real-life person who she married, had a baby with, and went through a lot of tragedy with. They lost their child, she nearly died because she has a health condition, and she, after the death of their child, she got really lost in her work. And that's where she was when we started the game. Whoa, trippy. Doing good, I'm glad to hear it. So that's where we start off. We've now learned all this stuff, so now we're trying to figure out what she's doing with this machine. I'm running late too, lol. I'll be lurking, but I'm absolutely listening in because I love your streams. Well, thank you, Saber. You're so kind. We'll get right into it. I'll showcase the game. I also got some hot cocoa and some marshmallows. I'm, like, maximum cozy. It's great. I'm just gonna move my notepad over here and we'll start okay continue whoop whoop hot cocoa yeah i forgot i had marshmallows and i was like oh my god i need to play more yeah i played nearly four hours of this game just starting it oh i was so into it i didn't know this ties together the others in the series that's awesome yeah so in finding paradise was the second game technically a bird story was the third game but it's like a side story and then this one, it, it, it is a sequel, but I think the beginning of it is a prequel. Because we do eventually get back to present day with Eva and uh, Neil, so that's cool. So let's get into it. I'm gonna move my thing up a bit. Alright, so we just learned about the simulation. Oh, I went upstairs. Go back downstairs. Linnery is down here working with the machine, and we don't know what she's doing. She also looks very young here. She's actually quite old. She's probably like in her 70s because she just, her life went and gone and yeah. Whoa. Oh, I don't remember the voice I gave her. Oh heck. Ooh, dolls? Creepy. Entity deactivated. Oh shit. Oh, these are all the characters who were in this mansion. I think it was these two who died. These two right here. They constantly die. Oh dang. Yeah. Alright, well, I mean, I don't want to deactivate all of them. Oh, I'm deactivating all of them. Sorry, Winry! <laughs> or not Winry. God. It's like FMA all of a sudden. She's gonna be like, stop deactivating my things! And I'll be like, fuck you! You lied to me for like three hours! Okay, hello. What's up, girl? She seems preoccupied. Maybe I could sneak around first? Oh. Alright, well, let's look around then. Sneak around? Sure. What's going on around here? I I don't imagine anyone's around here. Oh, there's the machine. Oh, it's still blocked off. Damn. I want in! Let me in! Fine. Let's go to the washroom then. The fun fact about this whole simulation was that whenever Quincy went to the washroom and washed his hands, that was the time reset. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Wash your hands. Just an ordinary sink. I don't think there's anything else I really need up here. Can I leave? Can I say nah? Get me the fuck out of here? Although I'm a simulation, so... I shouldn't be able to go too far past. Oh, I can just leave. Okay. Oh, what the pug? Oh. This fountain... Wasn't there something on it? Yeah, wasn't there like a statue? Weird. What the pug? Yeah, he just says that. Let me in! <laughs> I guess the place is just getting more and more weird now, but 
Maybe I should ask Linry if I get the chance. Oh, is the simulation cracking? Is that what it was? Well, m maybe I'll try to leave. No, let me out! The gate is locked. Fuck you! God damn it. Uh, anything else around here that's weird? The trees are the same. It's creepy looking as ever. Uh, I guess I'll just go talk to Win or Linry? Yeah, everything looks the same. That's fine, I'll just go talk to girl. Girl, what do you need, and how can I help? And also, will you remarry me? Because please don't get lost in your work. The first episode, the first two acts were actually very sad. I'm excited for how this is gonna go. Hey. It's almost ready. What is? And what's all this? I've been compiling a batch test case to check for certain, uh, suspicions. It was about done, but you were out too soon. Too soon? I felt like I was in there for quite a while. Yeah, three hours, in fact. You were in a separate data stream where time is experienced differently. It's only been a few minutes over here. Huh. Resuming compilation 67%. Whoa. Actually, while we're waiting, I have a question for you. For me? Yeah. Given what you've seen... Given what you've seen... Am I a, a terrible, selfish person? Oh. Hello! Stormdrag! How are you? Also, while we're here anyway... I'm gonna give, sh give, give, give shoutouts to beautiful people. Shoutout to Spell Saber. Shoutout to Hui Abu. Why? Why? Don't you know? Brilliant problem solving. That's all we do here. <laughs> I'm so smart. Oh no! Oh my god, I keep messing this up, sorry. Oh, is this Psychonauts 2? Ooh. Okay, I think I got it. Yeah. Oh my god, it's, it's, it's 6 too. Nice. I want a bitch! <laughs> Such a great game. I, I need to finish the first Psychonaut so I can play this, the second one. Alright, best game ever, 10 out of 10 IGN. <laughs> 10 out of 10 IGN. Alright, I'm not looking at you, Rat. I'm not looking at you. Not looking at you. No, bro, get off my laptop. I say you, bitch. <laughs> Excuse me, bitch. <laughs> I hate him. Get out of here so I can fight you. How you doing, by the way, uh, Storm? Nice. A classic stream starting soon screen. <laughs> it takes you is so fun. I need to play it. I know, I, I know, I, I have a bit, I have some reservations about the story from what I've heard. But it's a shame, because I like his games usually. I'm good. Thanks for asking, Storm. I appreciate that. I had a shite week last week, but I'm doing better. I bet it was 10 out of 10, but the parents are absolutely negative a thousand out of 10. Yeah, really. Oh, I can answer. So she asked if she was a selfish person. N no. Yeah? No. No, you're not selfish. That's a very... That's a huge tragedy to experience the loss of a child. No. I... I don't think that's fair to say. Olivia was straight up bad parent simulator. <laughs> yeah, really? I mean, I can't say that you did all the right things, but... I don't know how many people could have... Could have... Could have if they were actually in your shoes. But selfish? I suppose so. Oof. I wasn't... I mean... Quincy wasn't exactly altruistic either, but... He really did seem to try his best to put your happiness above all else. He did indeed. That's fair. Linry? Compiling 72%. I see. Well, we still have time, so... I'll return the favor. 
Anything you'd like to ask me? Why? Hmm? Why do you even care what I think? Very true. Dang, we missed 69%. <laughs> so close. I mean, if I am what I am, why are you even talking to me if I'm actually him? Him referring to her, uh, her husband, who she just kind of left for work. Oh, the cat wants in my lap. Hold on. Come here, Bo. Come on, come on. Into the lap. I can't see the screen. Come on. Don't step on the laptop. Stop stepping on the laptop. <laughs> come on, cat. Oh, baby. There we go, baby. Mwah. Baby Bo. He's a baby. He moved my microphone. Okay. Are you okay, dude? I don't think this is comfortable for you, dude. There you go. Is that better? Okay. Because you... Because I'm supposed to be testing your believability. That's all. Is that so? Compiling. 76%. Now, would you like to ask any actual questions while there's still time? Sure. Yeah. Sink time travel. Yeah, what the fuck was that about? About that sink in the washroom? I know now that- Oh, I know now that time wasn't being rewound, but why did it do what it did? The sink never did anything. I know it's hard to believe, but it was a coincidence. Really? Or rather, a series of coincidences that happened over and over. Huh. As I was debugging, I reset the scenario a few times in the process. It was an oversight, but because you were an inserted entity and not native, you were not reset. And I just happened to be using the sink every time you did a reset? Yes. Isn't that too much of a coincidence? Yeah, really. It is oddly improbable, but still above a 0% possibility. One of the reasons for my suspicion, actually, but we'll test that soon. Compiling! 82%. I'm gonna turn it down for myself a little bit. It is very loud. Then I'm gonna turn it up in OBS. There we go. Uh, murders! So, what's with the murders happening here? What's with the moida? I mean, the simulation is based on your memories, right? How come I- Oh god, it was not her, damn it! I mean, the simulation is based on your memories, right? How come I didn't see it in the flashbacks? Because the murders never happened. Oh. At least, I don't remember it happening. Which is strange, because it seems to be unavoidable in the simulation based on my memory. Did you figure out why? Not yet. But with what I'm setting up, I'm afraid I'm about to. Compiling, 88%. It's almost complete. There's time for just a couple more questions. Double Linry. So there really were two of you in that mansion earlier? Well, in the first run, I assumed direct control of myself in this memory, so there was only one. But in the resets after the murder, I had to scout and debug, so I spawned another token me. You were only able to see this because we were both from the first spawn before a reset. So yeah, me and the token me. 94%. One last question, and we're starting. Oh shit, I can't even ask everything. Mi uh... Missing fountain statue. That's important. Oh yeah, I just saw something weird outside. You know that fountain- Oh shit! What the fuck? I can't ask about the fountain. Alright, that was weird. Don't like that. Mm-mm. The real Quincy? I hope it not about me asking, but quite a few years skipped by at the end of that montage. It wouldn't let me ask about the fountain. That's fucked. What is happening? What happened to me? I, I mean, uh, Quincy. I don't know. You just left him and you never contacted him? You don't know? I don't. It's been so many years since we talked. After everything that happened, we just... Went our separate ways. That's so sad. Or perhaps more accurately, I did. Compiling 100%. Alright, couldn't ask about the other thing. That's okay. 
Hmm. Okay, it's ready. I've prepared a batch of test scenarios with particular, uh, variables. Notably, the location of Dr. Haynes and Dr. Yu and their intent. As for you, you'll be my observer. Observer? Yep. All you have to do is go into the rooms and look at them. That's easy. Look at them to check if they're dead. That's easy, but less appealing. <laughs> it's for science. Oh, then, uh, yay? <laughs> Indeed. You ready? Yes, yes, or definitely yes! Help! <laughs> but can I say no? Alright, I'll say yes. I guess. No, I'll say definitely yes. Great. Now check the bathroom. The bathroom? Yep. I stuffed them there first. Can you not? The bathroom is like the only sanctuary I left. That's fine. I'll be monitoring and waiting right over here. Besides, you need to learn to get out of your comfort zone. Oh, we're way beyond the concept of a comfort zone. Alright, let's go check if people are dead or not. This'll be fun. Well, they seem alive. They're blinking. Oh, I see them! Good. No clue. Okay. Can I not talk to them? Hello? They don't seem responsive. I guess I should just head out. Oh, okay. So, alive or dead? Alive? I think. They aren't moving or responsive, though. Yeah, I've set them on a different layer. Okay, now go back in and out a few more times and report their status. Alright. Okay. Oh, hello! Whoa! Don't like it. Now? Still alive, but they're closer. Oh, that was me, sorry. Move them for convenience. Go on, again. Alright. Oh, they're dead. Oh, shit! Lin- Linry! Dead. Linry, they're dead! Ugh, you sure? Yes! This could be bad. It is bad! They're dead! Okay, I'm gonna log off and get Dr. Kim to come and help. Just check the other rooms while I'm gone, alright? Okay. Wait, you're leaving me here alone to check more for more bodies? What's the issue? You've already seen much worse earlier. Besides, you know they're not real. Lurk, thank you for the lurk, Storm Drag. I know I'm not real. I mean, in terms of realness, they're just not- they're just as real as me. Fair point. Okay then, here. A- uh, a cat? What is this? Your bodyguard. My bodyguard? Yeah. He protect- <laughs> Does he attack too? <laughs> Okay, I'll be back soon. Good luck. What? Wait! Don't leave me here with the long cat! He's gonna be long! <laughs> Hello? Tell me. Do you really protect? He's a good boy. You don't protect. <laughs> Whoa! What the? What the fuck? I am system. Oh, I've seen you in her memories. Good! System supervises Quincy while Linry is gone. Do you... Uh, do you now? Guess I'm gonna be babysat by a giant talking sound wave. Do not be afraid, for this is not my final form. Oh, God! Behold a form even you may comprehend! Uh-oh. What is it? Ah! <laughs> Rice butt! Rice butt! <laughs> Indeed, Rice Bot was merely the humble beginning of my AI. <laughs> but now I am much more. 
I am creator of worlds and cooker of rice. <laughs> Taste my rice. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Taste it. Taste my rice, bitch. <laughs> the cat's trying it too. Holy fuck! This... This... This is the tastiest rice I have ever eaten! How could something taste this good? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? I'm gonna turn it down a bit. What the fuck? Nobody knows. I need to know! There is no way to know. But when Quincy completes mission, reward is more rice. <laughs> what are we waiting for then? Let's go find them. Rice bot system? Question mark. Join the party. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, you can come too. Cat? Question mark. Join the party. <laughs> now let us proceed to the party hall, the kitchen, and the study. Repeatedly until they die. <laughs> There ought to be a better way to put that. Let's go to the kitchen first. Oh. Alright. Good. Oh, they're dead! Anomaly detected! Oh, shit. Okay. Well, they're dead there. Go in here. Nice. Oh, I'm still alive. Okay. Uh. Oh no, he's just playing pool. She's gone though. Where'd she go? Wait, are you getting longer? Is that- what do you even do? He just becomes long cat. That's his primary function. Oh god, they're dead! Anomaly detected! Shit. He is getting longer. He's a long boy. And the study is upstairs, so let's go upstairs. Stop! What? Hover time! Oh my god. Stop! Hover time! <laughs> wow, so powerful. Move this way. There we go. Alright. Still good. Still good. Third time. Fourth time. Still good. Alright. And they're dead. Anomaly detected. Alright, that's all of them. What do I do? I can go in here? What's that gonna do? Door's locked. Can I go back here? Would that do anything? Door's locked. Quite a room in there. Maybe you go back down. Oh, the music's eerie all of a sudden. I don't like that. Linry? Oh my god, hello? Honey? Linry, you're back. Linry? What's going on? Whoa! What are you do- What the fuck? What are you doing? Uh, Linry? You're scaring me. I just- I need a moment. What happened? What did you see out there? Nothing. Okay, you- you can tell me. It's not like I'm gonna run with it. Linry? Linry, initial tests were completed. The hip- the hypothesis holds. Continue. Yeah. I'll be there soon. Affirmative. Proceeding to party hall. The hypothesis? Please proceed to the party hall. 
Okay. Please? Okay. Alright, rice bot, sorry. Okay. It is starting. Right, they're unveiling the machine. Huh. I remember this from the memories. They demo the machine here, right? I don't think the replay got that far, though. This is the furthest point. Huh? What? Death is variable, but... All death tangents link to this moment. Oh. When they demo the machine for the guests? Affirmative. Data predicts if we leave this room now, everyone will die. Everyone here? We'll die, Data predicts. Oh shit. Now let us leave this room. W what do we have to? It is imperative. Leave this room and come back to confirm. Okay. Please leave and come back to the room. The scene will not be reset and deaths are expected. I was trying to go down. Henry's gone. What the? She's gone. Data shows Linry is offline. Again? She will be back. In the meantime, please return to party hall. Okay. Let's see all the dead people. Jesus. Why? Deaths confirmed. Resetting room. Wait, if you could just reset the room while we're in here. Why did we have to leave and come back every time earlier? Leaving was not necessary for reset. Leaving was necessary for death. <laughs> what? Whenever we look, they do not die. Wait, when we observe them, they don't die? What? Oh shit. Whoa, what happened? I... I'm not certain. This isn't supposed to... It's never happened before. Under this scenario, equipment damage occurs. Core computing unit in basement is destroyed. Destroyed? How? Data unknown. Resetting. Huh. Now, the final test. Quincy will go to basement. Okay. The core computing control room? Affirmative. Both sites will be observed. Data anomaly is expected. What kind of anomaly? Unknown. Huh. Guess I'll find out then. Do you remember? The 24th of December! Do you remember? <laughs> It's probably the 21st, and I don't remember, and I mess that up. Here's me trying to get all these musical references in, and oh, I'm a sham! Do you remember the entrance? The pool table? Affirmative. Please proceed. Okay, long cat. <gasps> Bibby! Bibby! <laughs> he jump. Wait! What? What's up? It is dangerous to go alone. Take long cat. <laughs> Take this! <laughs> Take this! <laughs> no, the cat doesn't want to go! The cat do not protect. Take this! Oh, the cat says no mas. Uh-uh. Oh no, baby. Take this. Cat during the party. Oh no. I mean, sure, why not? Okay. Put too much sugar in this hot cocoa, but that's okay. Okay, we're down. Kind of creepy with no one here, though. It's okay. I got Long Cat to protect me.
wasn't in here, was it? Uh, no, this was the main lounge. I do want to explore, though. I don't know if it'll tell me anything, but... I guess not. Okay. Oh, I can't go that way. Whoa, okay. Oh, wait, I should go in here too. Anything going on here? I guess it's just simulated, so nothing really would be here. Alright. What the pug? It's not there. What? I don't remember this hall being nearly this long before. Yeah, no, it ended here. Weird. Oh, I can't run. Okay. What the fuck? What was that? Cat's like, man, get me the fuck out of here! I don't like that sound. Hi, Bo. What the fuck? Did, did you- oh, Hold on, the cat is on my laptop. Really wants to be up in my face and I can't see. Did you hear that? Come on. Come on, cat. Get in my lap. There you go. Good boy. She really wants my attention. Yeah, because he's a good baby. He's a good baby. Baby man. Okay. Alright, I'll move this a little bit. There you go. Oh, don't stand on my cords. Okay. Did you hear that? Something's not right. Okay. What the fuck? What? What is happening? Hello? Again, it's too early for it to be a horror game, what the fuck? Excuse me? Okay, you know what? Stop, just stop it! What the pug is this? Why is the corridor so long? Where does that light keep coming from? And what's with all the weird sounds? You hear that freaking creepy wood creaking! Ow! It's all metal and concrete in here! There is no wood! Cat agrees. And you! What do you even do? How are you supposed to protect? I don't even have a knife! You're just a cat! Does, did he get a knife out? And now that I think about it, we're not even that long! <gasps> you, you, you disrespected long cat. How could you, Quincy? If only you were actually helpful. Uh oh. Aw, sad cat. You made him cry. Quincy. Okay, look. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Aw, oh, so sad. It's just. It's been a rough day, you know? I mean, first all the murders, and then I find out that I don't exist. Even for an optimist, that stings. On the upside, I guess it really can't get any worse from here. Indeed. Come on, let's go finish this. Whatever's up ahead, I'll take it. Wh what the fuck? Wait, what was that? Oh my god, he's evolving! He's- oh, he's becoming longer! <laughs> what? what I Is he a bear? With boxing gloves? You've... You've changed. You've become something else. Something... More... Oh, he's buff. You're, you're taking the lead? At the darkest hour, you've really come through for me. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. That's a long kid. That's a long boy. Alright, let's go observe the pug out of that computer. Fuck yeah, let's go. Pokemon. Oh my god, I'm playing Long Cat. Hell yeah, let's go. Ready to fuck some shit up. Let's go. Hello? Linry? You're you're back. Yeah, I'm sorry. I had to help check something. 
Are you almost at the end of the controls? Are you almost at the control center? I sure hope so. We've been walking for ages. The corridor leading to it seems to be stretched. It seems to be looping. Boy, I'll say. Wait, you you mean literally? Yeah, hang on. Weird. It should be fixed now. Uh, thanks. But why is it like that? I'm not certain, but the room should be just ahead now. Tell me when you get there. I'll start the demo sequence then. Alright. Alright. Just took the evolution of Longcat to... Bust our butts and gear. Is there anything else going on around here? Stairs. Okay, this is the machine. Well, finally here. You ready? Meow! Let's go, long cat. Okay. Linry? Do you hear me? Yeah, the scene is ready and loaded. Should we, uh, prepare for something? Just being there is enough. We'll have your data stream. You only need to stand here and observe. Okay. I'm good at that. Meow. Meow. Well then, shall we begin? Begin the final test, sure. Yeah, we're ready. Let's do it. Oh. Okay, the demo scene is starting. You should see the machine powering up. Yeah, it just did. Good. Keep your eyes on it and tell me if you see anything weird. Uh-huh. Okay. Do you see anything? No, it seems to be running normally. Although... Although? There's some weird sound. What kind of weird sound? Is the machine short-circuiting? No, it's not coming from the machine. It seems to be coming from... Yeah. Oh, the vent. What the fuck? Um, no thank you. What the fuck? Quincy? The system is almost ready. What are you seeing? Uh, you wouldn't believe me if you if I told you, honey. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, wait, where's Quincy? Oh, he's just there. And it disappears into the floor? Oh my god. Hello? Okay, we've never dealt with supernatural things before. Good lord. What the fuck? Okay. Whoa! It's a shield. Linry. Don't move. Okay. What are you? Why can't I get a reading on you? Oh, it's there. You already know why. What the fuck? It's a person. Then, are you the reason? When I unplugged from here earlier, when I logged off, there was nothing. Nothing but the machine to log back in with, as if the entire world just... vanished. Am I not real either? What the fuck is happening?! No. You are real. Relative to this place, at least. Winry? Then... how many? Too many. What is it talking about? 
Too many what? Too many worlds. What? We're a long way up, Quincy. There are a lot of layers beneath us. Too many layers in the system? I may have created your world. But another had created mine. What the fuck? Excuse me? Are we talking parallel universe bullshit? Over and over. Until after however many layers. At the bottom of the stack, there is just the world that ran the first simulation. Oh, uh, Whoa, 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 whoa. When you run the simulation, you're creating worlds? You, you did it too much? So you're a simulation too, then. What the fuck? But as each simulation creates another, the original at the bottom is weighed down more and more. Until finally, even just one more simulation is created, no matter how abstract. It would be enough to overload and collapse the entire structure. Wait, so... Her future doomed her past? Because... No, that wouldn't make sense. Huh. I'm very confused. We're gonna figure it out. Tell me, are we at the top of that stack? You're correct. Aren't we all just simulations? Hello, by the way. Chris Wave. <laughs> Hi, Clueless Nape. How are you? We, th th that is, th that is the, the true question, Clueless Nape. This is delving to very interesting territory that the games have not gotten into yet. So weird. And there's something that I still don't get. Why don't you just cut the infinite loop from the get-go? Why are you trying to preserve this world without eliminating us? And why are you here even bothering to talk to us about any of this? Why do you even bother talking to him? Oh no... This is the point, because she's from the first simulation. If it's her then... This was her... in the past. Okay. Hey, I'm, I'm right here. I'm good, how are you doing? How's the game? It's good. I'm so fascinated in the direction it's taking. This is uh, the third game in a series I really like. Uh, the first game of the series is called To the Moon. Um, and a t the Freebird Games team and Kan Gao and um, Super Shigi, like uh, Lara Shigihara, they're all very key pieces of these games and it's they're all very well written. Um, so this is technically the fourth game? Um, I guess you could call it the third main game, though, because they had To the Moon, and then Finding Paradise was the second one, and then A Bird Story was like a side game, but we can count it as the third one, and then there was this one. Um, and this is the first game that they're starting off with, where we're not playing our main characters, which is really interesting. I know we get to play our main characters, but I don't know when. And this, I think, is, a p is happening in the past. Very interesting. That's different. He's... Uh, he's... Uh. Linry? Tell me. Who are we to you? To me? Whoa! Hello? Whoa, whoa, whoa! She's from Finding Paradise! She's the... She, she's the imaginary persona. Why is she in here? Is she just morphing into people? It might be somebody else. To me, you are no one. What is she doing here? Then again, that doesn't mean much. I am not so different from that rice spot of this world, after all. 
Oh, wait a minute. She became... Did she... Did her... Memory get fused with the machine in the second game? I guess? So then... But then she's been able to go to the past. How can she travel through time? You don't look like a rice bot. <laughs> no, I certainly hope not. Oh. No, I certainly hope not. Were you also an AI refit for the simulations? Well, not exactly. She became an AI, kinda. But I sure do clean up after your mess just the same. These worlds may be simulations, but the automation still follows laws of physics. To a fault, really. In cases like this, for example, someone has to manually prevent everything imploding. Fortunately, I happen to have an innate disregard to the laws of physics. Yeah. But that's all a story for another day. I thought that she... Okay, because in Finding Paradise, she showed up at the end to remove herself from Colin's memories. But then saw him one last time to be like, look at how you've grown up. Because he had made this imaginary friend to comfort him because he was a very um, keep-to-himself person. And he really wanted, like, the perfect life. So if he could have that perfect life and, like, have that reason to fall back on, like, that one friend, that was her. It was a per persona he created. So she went into the machine. Ne I forget what Neil had did. Ne Neil had done. Neil was one of the scientists. But he had, like, fused her and allowed her... No, he'd given her access. He'd given her access to the neurological machine, which then allowed herself to erase... To erase, like, her... Like... Physical appearance and memory from Colin until the end when she was like, look at what you've done and look at the person you've become. It's great. Um... So I'm... I, yeah, it's getting all time wimey wibbly wobbly It is. I just don't know how that means that she's able to go back in time. Unless this isn't a time period thing? Unless this is a new machine? I could be just assuming too much. I don't know. Hey, what are you- Ooh. Okay. That didn't do anything. The- the bird! The, the- the- the paper airplane from her game, and from a bird story. Okay, so she summoned it. Shall we? That's how he traveled through his memories as a boy, Colin did. But she's using it as a transportation device for the simulation. Okay, nice callback. Whoa. I'm so confused. I'm fascinated. But oh my god. There are lots of tangents out there beyond this one. Each moment blooming into countless branches of their own. Okay. But this particular tangent is being observed. Because it's special. Okay. It's special. Because despite being at the top of the stack. It was almost identical to base reality. Oh. Ooh. Okay. There, everything began unfolding the same way. Okay. Your childhood, your youth. Your diagnosis. Yeah, so Linry uh, was born with a... A very weak body. Uh, I think she had a, a cancer that was, uh, it, it grew malignant. And just like here, against all odds, you kept pushing on. Oh. Because she was the most resilient in this simulation. Okay. Okay. Never wasting a moment to unravel as much of the world as you can while you still could. You learned all you could, tried as hard as you could. You met someone. 
Someone you imagined you the future with. And graduated into a career where you felt you could make a difference. For a while, at least. Right, okay, then she left the career because there was the accident. Until it became something else. Too much to bear. Yeah, she almost killed a person because they demoed the machine and it wasn't ready. You escaped, traveled the world. And wondered why you didn't do it sooner. The base reality where we're from, it all followed the same course. That is, up until that point. Oh. Before the child was born? When you came back from the trip and found out you were pregnant. When you became ill halfway through the pregnancy. When you had to make that choice between yourself and that child. You chose to delay your surgery until he was due. You chose the child. Right, because you wanted to save him. Congratulations, but please rest well. You need some time to recover, but we're quite behind already. We'll be transferring you to surgical unit soon. I understand. How is he doing? He's okay. You're the one we should be worrying about. He's tiny. Our little Toby Raynard. Aww. Actually, about that? Wait, what? I've been thinking- No. Well, maybe- Maybe he should take your sur- What's her surname? It's not Raynard. Your surname instead. My surname? I mean, I can't think of any reason why not. But after all that, I can think of lots of reasons why you should. Oh, I'd love that. Although, Toby doesn't ring as well- YES! It's Neil! I fucking knew it! Wait, what the fuck is it? I don't- mm, What- mm, <laughs> What is happening? That's one of the scientists! That's like the main character of all the games! What the fuck? What? Wait, is it Eva? No, Neo, Neo Watts. No, it's Neo Watts and Eva... Okay, I need to figure this out. Do you have something else in mind, then? How about... Neil? What the fuck? What the fuck? Neil, huh? What the fuck? <laughs> Hello, cool fires! Just popping in briefly! I just got, like, a big s reveal. This is- I'm so confused. I'm so excited, though. How are you? How are you, Corwin? Very nice to see you. No worries about popping in briefly. I appreciate you popping in at all. Yeah, I like it. Yes, you seem agitated. I'm not, actually. I'm actually quite excited. I'm just confused. Because <laughs> I'm like- they brought in timey wimey wibbly wobbly shit, and I'm just like, oh, and parallel universes, and I'm like, oh, no. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. I just- I'll let it play out. But we basically have learned that these characters who we spent about four or five hours with are the parents of a character who is the main character in all the games. Well, mo most of the games, anyway. What, what, one of the main characters, anyway. But... We saw a memory where his name wasn't Neil, Neil Watts. It wasn't this. So I think we saw a different reality. Oh, I'm just so interested. Oh, I'm good. Working on mapping rivers in China. Ooh, fun. That sounds cool. Our little Neil Watts. What the shit is happening? In base reality, your son never had the complications of an early birth. In base reality? Then what... What's... What did she experience? He made it through childhood just fine. With all the love you and Quincy could give him. 
And why does this exist? Oh, is this one of the games in the Two of the Moon series? It is. It is the fourth game in the Two of the Moon series. But as for you, you never fully recovered. Oh, no. So, okay. So, there's two realities going on then. And we're living in the reality... Oh my god, there is- it is parallel. Oh, fuck. Okay. So what we saw were memories of her- so she had an illness, there was a complication with the birth, and she chose to have it immediately because the doctor said, it's either you or the child. And then they were like, we gotta pick the child. Like, we gotta pick you. You're really important, because the child has to grow up healthy too, and he can't grow up without a mom. So they did it immediately, but in base reality, they chose the other option, and Neil Watts was born as Neil Watts. Which means that Neil and Eva exist in another reality, which we normally play in, and this game starts off in the other choice, in the other reality. I should probably play To the Moon, huh? It's so good. I really recommend To the Moon. All the games are really good. They're, they're always just such a joy to play. And then she died in this reality. With the delay, the treatment couldn't reverse your decline. And you spent much of your remaining years bedridden. Oh no. Alright, well I hope you have fun. Thank you, Corwin! Have a good night. Still, perhaps out of the will to be there for him, you lived long past your prognosis. Oh. Interesting. To watch him grow up, even if just a little more. But eventually, as you felt your time coming near. I will leave before these potential spoilers start making sense, if they even are spoilers. That's fair. They wouldn't- they probably wouldn't make sense to you until the second or third game? But yeah. I guess just keep in mind timey-wimey shit happens. Because <laughs> the other games, they don't really get into this plot, so... Uh, but eventually, as you felt your time coming near... You sought out some old friends, okay? I'm sure I'll have forgotten by then. Alright, bye! Bye, Corwin. I apologize for the spoilers, but I, I hope you do forget. <laughs> oh, leave something for him when he grows up. Oh. Okay. Where'd you leave him? You left him a piece of your memories. Okay. Which memories? At the time, there was no way to decrypt it. Oh. But still, someday, you hoped. Why would she leave- okay. And then you died, and it's very sad. When it rains, it pours. Oh, big sad. Soon after you passed away, your son was diagnosed with the same hered her hereditary? Okay, hereditary condition. Oh. Neil has this? But perhaps it was a reminder of his limited time here, Memento Mori. Oh no. It stirred up something within him, pushing him further as it did for you. And although he tried distancing himself from others, knowing what might await those who get close, he wasn't successful with everyone. Oh, he met Eva at a young age! Oh, look at them! They're so cute! That's the other scientists you usually play as. Slowly, from the very basics, he worked and worked all the way past the research you left behind. But despite it all, when the time came, again and again he was rejected by the Foundation over your incident. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, so that's, that all still happened. But she never went back. Oh no! He inherited a crippling ligma! <laughs> You're gonna- I'm not gonna ask, Clueless. <laughs> I know what it is! So instead, he sought an alternate route. He pivoted to an external company that licensed the imperfected technology. Okay. And rather quickly, he made it into the ranks. With some help from a friend. It was a company where he could still access the code and hardware of the technology. 
a company that used to fill last wishes by implanting the memories of a new life. This is the this is the this is how we start in this series. We are two scientists who work for this company that use this technology to enter into people's memories and create new ones so that they have a die they like their dying wishes are fulfilled. So if someone's like, "Man, I'm on my deathbed and I really always wanted that ice cream cone." You can give them that ice cream cone. <laughs> Company called Sigmund Corp. Indeed. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Fascinating. It's been many years since then. In that time, he's aided countless patients. They shady? No, Sigmund Corp's actually good. They're 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 a good company. Um, the games, like it, it's a way to get to to kickstart the series. Like to be like we have this machine that can enter into people's memories. They literally like ask for their services. Like clients will be like they want to see a dying wish fulfilled in their minds. So they they hire them, they go to their client, and then they go into the memories. Usually the the um, shockers of the game, or the histories, or like the mysteries, I should say, are the ones around, like when you're entering the memories, there's always some blockage, and they run into some issues with, like, A, figuring out what the, what is their dying wish, and B, how can they do that? Because sometimes people have repressed memories, and that was a lot of the issue with To the Moon, there was a lot of fragmented memories that they were entering. And in the second one, they just didn't even know what his dying wish was. He didn't really know what he wanted. So they had to go in and find that out. The Sigmund Corp is actually good. Neil, however, has been doing some kind of shady shit, and we didn't really know what he was doing. And I, 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 I can kind of guess from this story now what he's doing, but... Um... Yeah, he's... He was messing with the machine, but my question more so is that he was doing a lot of stuff and there was something up with Eva. Like, she saw a copy of herself, which made me think it was a simulation, but it wasn't. Or was it? I don't know. I thought something was wrong with Eva. All while perfecting the technology on his own accord, with the hardware and data access. Oh, okay, that's cool. I think we read a book once with a similar idea. The names escape me right now. Oh, fair enough. I'd love to read that if you ever think of it. And today, in that world, he succeeded. What? The world that we're in and every world in the stack it stands upon. Okay. They, they're the result of the first functional stress test from the machine he perfected. Right, okay. He perfected it, damn. The first successful test? This mission... This machine he built, what is it for? A window to a world where everyone could leave a part of themselves after they're gone. Oh. So that everyone who ever existed, no matter how ephemeral, could have a lasting place in this world. Oh. Okay. And without having to say goodbye even earlier than they have to. Oh. Oh no, okay. To see and experience all the different possibilities this life has to offer. All my life here since the day he was born. I'd wish I'd made a different choice then. Oh. I'm so glad that somewhere out there I, I did. I'm so glad that he's made it. Okay. Bird! Bird? Oh, bye, bird. It's almost time. Now that we've gone beyond the boundary of said events, this tangent needs to be terminated. Uh, terminated? It's just one tangent. Can't you let it run just this once? But it's not just this one tangent. Out of the countless paths the test generated, this is not the only one that reached this point. As I speak to you on this roof, I am also speaking to thousands of other versions of you elsewhere. 
They too managed to dig deep enough to have found me. And if I don't terminate them, the foundation will fail and take everything with it regardless. This world was never meant to exist beyond this point. But, the worlds aside, I might have a way to give you more time. When you're ready, come with me. Okay. There's a place we need to go to. Anomaly detected! Oh shit. Rice spot, no! Long cat! Rice spot? You guys got here just in time. Hey, can they come with us? No, I'm I'm afraid not. Where we're going, there is no protocol for them. They'll have to stay here. Aw, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, there's a sparkly. Hey, about what happened back there? I know. It was pretty scary, huh? Aw, baby. Listen, I don't blame you for running. To be honest, I was so panicked that I didn't even notice you were gone. On the other hand, uh, sorry we got the world deleted. I'd say curiosity killed the cat, but I guess we weren't ever even alive. I honestly still don't know what your deal is, but... Maybe I'll see you at a reboot one day and find out, yeah? How much does that cat hate having boxing gloves on? <laughs> Take care, little dude. Meow. Good cat. So, uh, you heard that, right? Affirmative. I am linked to Linry's data feed. But do not worry, for I am well versed. Well versed in what? In ceasing to exist. Oh no. I am shut down daily. I'm not sure if this is the same thing, but let's hope so. There can be no difference between nothingness. Farewell until next time. Farewell, Rice Bot. What's this sparkly thing over here? Oh. Just the hole? The groundskeeper would be livid. <laughs> Oof. Anything else I can- oh, I can't run. Oh, I guess that's it. I guess I'll talk to Linry. You doing okay? Hey, Linry? Yeah. Yeah. I'm more than okay. Oh, that's so sad. Well, shall we go? On the plus side, let's grass to mow! Very true. Yeah, um... Linry? I'm ready. So, where are we going? Somewhere far, but you'll be among good company. Now, this ride might be a bit more intense than the last one. Would you like the front seat, or the back? <laughs> really doesn't matter to me, I guess Linry can sit up front. You gon' barf, dude. Alright, your call. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Ooh, animation. Animation. Ooh. We've reached our station. Looks like we're the last to arrive. The last ones? Wh what is all this? Hello? Oh god. All the simulations? Are these all versions of you from <clears throat> ver versions of you from tangents where I materialized? Yes. Oh. So they ran that simulation like a million times and they found her often. Okay. The salvageable ones, at least. Oh god. Salvageable ones? Well, we can't extend every rogue version of you, but... If we consolidate the ones similar enough, then there'd only be one set to deal with. That is the way to end the rogue infinite loops, but still keep you, in a sense. Speaking of which... Yeet! I think everyone's here. 
Ooh. There. Isn't that better? Sorry you have to see me like this, but I'll try to be quick. Wh what are you doing? Didn't I tell you already? I'm saving the world. What the fuck? She's... What? What is happening? She... she... Okay. Finally. Some peace and quiet. What? She just destroyed Earth. All these lights. This is where you live now. Goodbye! <laughs> it's time for them to rest so others may keep shining. Is, is, is this a simu- I don't understand. Like, is this another- They're not real. They're simulations. So in this simulation, she's destroying Earth? What the fuck? Okay. I'm very confused. Beyond that gate, you'll find a new life for yourselves. One where your illness is cured, where everyone lives happily ever after. It'll be a linear illusion, with a little resources required to maintain. But to you, it'll feel like a lifetime as real as your own. So... Because Neil must be doing this for his mother who died, but he's, like, bringing a, a simulation to life. Think of it as a parting gift. You hear that, Lenry? You get to live the perfect timeline. I mean, that's not okay, though. Lenry? There's no point. I'm beyond grateful that our son is out there, but our purpose here is done. What truly happened beyond the world is already set. Why would another virtual ride matter where, when not... Why would another virtual ride matter when not even our own did? I've already seen all there is to see. All that is truly matters, anyway. What? Hmm. But what if you haven't? I mean, I certainly had my world shattered, too, in more ways than one. But if anything, doesn't this broaden the possibilities, not narrow it? And for that matter, why does it even matter if our reality isn't base reality? Fair. There may not be- they may not be THE reality, but they were still our realities, and that's all we'd known. I was Quincy, oops. I mean, who's even to say that hers is truly the ultimate end of the stack? Beyond that gate, it may not be real, relative to her, but it's just as real relative to us. And who knows? Maybe it'll be a glimpse of a reality that is truly out there somewhere. A reality that we can visit and time to grow old together. What do you say, Linry? Wanna go one last trip together? Aww, that's cute. You'll wait for us until then? I I won't need to wait. To me, time is a place. Fair. Go on. Your new life is waiting. <sighs> yeah, so he must have been able to do something with her AI, like her memory. Hmm. In the second game, I mean. Let's go. Act four. No. 
Oh, I'm small. I'm a tiny child. At my house. Oh. She really starts over. He must be giving this to her memories, then. To, like, recreate his mother. She's had all these games to make seem delicious. Oh, I don't blame you. They're freaking good. Aww. A Bird Story is especially interesting, because it's actually- it's a side game, but it's actually, um... It, there's no dialogue in it, it's all visual. Okay, so this is... This is the reality, and they're gonna live... It's not gonna be like base reality, though, because it's not- a, di a different Neil's gonna be made, maybe? Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, and he started at a different point. He came in later. Okay. So they still enjoyed themselves. They still had a good life. Turns out Finding Paradise was already on there. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, so that's the second one. That's the one where you meet the uh, the AI woman in the brown dress. That's, that's where she's from. Okay, so they live a good life. She joins the company. No, she teaches. About long boys! Long cats and boxing gloves. Okay. This is all a simulation, though, so it's just fascinating. Like... Wow. And they have a baby. What is it? Neil? Like... It's not Neil as we know him. Fascinating. Oh wait, no, yeah, no, that, he looks different. Oh no. Oh no, he- okay, he looks like Neil. Oh, but then the question remains, is- which Neil do we know then? Is this- is the Neil that we know in the simulation? Oh, look at him. What a little goober. Man, Eva was a fucking punk rock chick. Hell yeah. Oh, oh, now it transitions. It's them. <gasps> he asked her to move. Oh my god, babies! <laughs> That's so cute. They're getting married. Oh yay! Oh, that's so cute. Oh, babies. But I don't. I don't know. No, this. Okay, no, this. This has. This can't be our Neil and in, in Eva then. It is a Neil and Eva. Oh, I'm. I'm uh, the dad. Yeah, I'm the dad. I'm older. Hello, children. Must have been fun falling out of a boat into a sea of jellyfish. Yeah. <laughs> Neil had to... <laughs> they had to just... Just like drink a whole ton of water and just pee over all of their wounds, unfortunately. <laughs> Can I talk to you? Stop here, child. Excited child! Okay, hello? Excited people! Oh, that must be her parents. Aw, maybe that was her brother. Everybody's dancing! Oh, th um... She's from Sig Sigmund Corp, but maybe she's just different. She's just a different person. I think they're all from Sigmund Corp, actually. Yeah, okay. Hey, Linry. Oh, we dancing! Oh, this is so cute! Oh, we jiving! Look at this, look at those dance moves! <laughs> I love it. Okay. Okay. What a fascinating turn this game is, like, this series has taken. I had no idea they were gonna go this route. Sneak up on them! Go behind the bush and say, Ew, cooties! <laughs> oh my god, are they looking at the- Oh, it's like to the moon. They're looking at the stars. Smooch, you cuties! Aww. Is it the moon? No, okay, it's just stars. But that's really cute. They go on a trip! Aww. Oh my god, she's a baby! A little, little Neil! 
Little, little Neil Jr. Or Eva Jr. Oh my god, all this stuff! Hello! What a life! Hi! Aw, oh, that's her daughter, I guess. Okay. Little Eva Jr. Oh my god, she's so cute! I love her. Hi. Are they moving? Maybe they're just visiting. Oh. Well. We had a good run, huh? The bestest. Oh. Birds. And then there's her. Okay. It's about time. This is all I could manage to do. Was it enough? More than I could ever ask for. But, uh... I just wish we were actually here. He is here. He's been here this whole time. Oh! Wait, so he... Wait. Is Neil sick? Why, why would Neil want to see this? I mean, that's really sweet. And from now on, he will always be. From now on, everybody will be. Okay. Huh. Okay. Okay. This feels like the ending of the game, but it's not. Look at all these, like, I... I'm so intrigued. Look at all this art! Oh, I hope a lot of it is fan art. That'd be super cool. Whoa. Whoa! Cool! Oh my god, we've never seen, like... We've never seen, like, fully animated like this. This is so cool. Oh, the music... <gasps> the music box! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, that's the end of the game? Wait, what? Really? Wow! Wow! End of the world. I have a lot of questions! Interesting. Okay. Huh. I love that. I guess this is Peely's song. This is gorgeous. I guess it is three acts long. It was gonna be a different... Huh. I don't know if that's an ending. Like, to the series, even. I guess not? I am... I need to process this. Oh my goodness. Okay. Press space to continue. Okay. I'm pressing space. Okay, an epilogue. 
Okay, alright. Hey, Neil. How's it going, dude? Oh, God. What was her voice? Oh, Neil. There you are. I just can't hold it in anymore. I must confess to you! Wait, what? <laughs> now, that's not funny. It's a little funny. <laughs> oh, okay. So, did I handle that all right? Yeah, thanks. Strange how that's supposed to be the perfect timeline, though. Okay. Okay, yeah. It only felt perfect because it had the context of adversity that already exists here. I just can't hold it anymore. I confess- I must confess to you. I need to poop. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it only felt perfect because it already had the context of adversity that already exists here. Without that, there was nothing to overcome. It passed by without even a meaningful ripple. Okay. But still... Are you familiar with the Library of Babel? I can be. Should I download the encyclopedia on it? Uh, no. That's alright. It's this theoretical theory of books containing every possible combination of letters and punctuation. Anything that can be written, or ever will be, can be found there. So, it most cer so it's most certainly nonsense and noise, but... Once in a while you reach for a book and it just happens to be exactly what you need. Huh. Whoa! What is that? A perimeter breach attempt. I gotta go. Perimeter breach? What perimeter? Wait, you don't mean... A doorbell? <laughs> it's a sick core, people. Okay, so that wasn't... Okay. So he was seeing a perfect simulation. That was the game, though? I, I feel like... I feel strange about it, because... I mean, this could be an epilogue. I Maybe I should just let it play out. I'll see. Okay. Neil! I don't have your stapler, I swear. <laughs> Oh, don't be silly! We were just nearby! Perimeter breach? Well, time to get out of VR chat, I suppose! <laughs> yeah, a little bit. We were just nearby! Nearby now. Very far an hour ago before deciding- Very far an hour ago before deciding to be nearby. Yeah, what are the chances, right? So anyway, we were gonna go somewhere rad. You in? How rad? <laughs> I'm so happy they used rad. Oh. God, it's it's absolutely rad, rad. <laughs> How rad? Surprisingly rad. Uh, hard pass. No, Neil. <laughs> Gee, somebody's a party pooper. All right, I guess I know all you can eat ice cream for Neil then. What the fuck you say to me? <laughs> I said, I guess know all you can eat ice cream for Neil then. He's back in the simulation. <laughs> we might as well, Neil. Who knows when we'll be in the next time? Who knows when when we'll be the next time we'll be able to... Hello? How'd you change so fast? It's a coat, not a cocktail dress. I'm expecting greatness. Go in, Rosa. Go in, Eva. Uh, you forgot to close the... I guess this is an epilogue. This is so weird. Okay, anyway. Is somebody in there? Hello? Okay, no. So strange. I don't know how I feel about this. How'd you change so fast? Can't talk. Ice cream. Episode five. Five? What? No, episode 10! What?! What is happening?! Thank you for supporting this series through the years. This is so fascinating! Ooh! I 
I gotta talk about this. Okay. 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 So, episode 10? From episode 2 to episode 10. What the fuck? Okay. Okay. So... So in... Okay, so... Finding Paradise... For one thing... Took me way longer than, than this game. Interestingly. I almost felt like it was a side game. Because you... I mean, granted, it still took me about... I would say... I probably played four out no, three and a half, four, five, four and a half, five and a half, probably close to six hours to complete this. Finding Paradise definitely took me 12 hours. So this is very interesting that this was a main game. Now, man, I expected to like, maybe I put too many expectations on this game because there's been so much lead up with what is Neil doing. We now know what he is doing, but there's still so many questions about Eva. Like, I thought that there was more around there. So we did get our answers. Um, I think it might have meant X as in the variable rather than the numeral. Oh, episode X? Oh. That's true. That's fair. That's it. That, yeah, that, that makes sense. Because it didn't have the top to it. Like the little, um, the line on top. That's fair. Okay. In which case, that would make more sense if this was kind of a side game. Interesting though, like, the variable. Because, I mean, that is the core of this game, as in this is a variable sequence. So, we learn that in another timeline, his mom wasn't his mom because he grew up as Toby. In this timeline, he grew up as Neil Watts, his mom died, and he le she left him a piece of memory so that to remember her by. He then took that piece of memory and was in like investing in the machine to try to see if he could take that memory and give them a happy ending. But he had to run through a million simulations as tests. So I guess this means that the very the the timeline that we saw at the beginning where she just left like that was an alternate time and the only reason as to why uh the woman with the wings could lead the simulation was because two happened and neil was with her like finding paradise two happened and then she got melted into it so she was a part of that so from this, we can we now know that we now know what Neil was doing. There's still a question around Eva. Very interesting. Okay. So from there, we still don't quite know what's going on with Eva. We still have some inkling and I'm not entirely sure what's going on with Neil. He was able to change really fast too. Which makes me think it's a simulation of simulation. I will die if that's the case. My brain's gonna break. It's just very interesting to pull that in for the first time. Pull in that concept of, like, variable worlds and, like, simulations. Like, I want to know what happened in... Ba like, like, it's what happened closest to base reality, which means... Everything up to the point... Yeah, she still had an illness then. Which means that we don't know if she picked herself for the child. Either way, Neil grows up. More than likely, she chose the, herself and, like, helped the child. Oh, what a game, though. What an interesting game. I thought it was actually going to be something on the, along the lines of we learn a whole fuck ton of answers. Um, and we go from there. Fascinating. But I just have more questions. <laughs> Fascinating. I am very curious to see what the next game's gonna be. 
Huh. Okay. Well, that's really interesting. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. That was a lot of fun. It's The night is still young. I think we can probably play another game. Let's see what I got. Definitely sounds like an interesting series. Yeah, it's just... I guess I'm a little bummed because I thought it'd be a little bit more. Like, I was expecting something along the lines of, like, the length of, like, the second game. Maybe I just took longer with that one. I don't know. And, like, the other thing, too, is that there's always a song. Like, if it's a side game, it doesn't... Like, I mean, it... So, I should preface. A song in... Integrated directly into... The, uh... The game. There was an insert song. It was by P-Leaf. But it was at the end of this game, the credits. Yeah, definitely check them out. Oh my god. 